Hello YouTube, today we will be solving the fatal error uncaught error with WordPress. Uh, so uh, this site, uh, they have received a um, error from uh, WordPress. So uh, there has been a critical error on your website. Please check your site admin email for instructions. So uh, usually when you receive this error, this is uh, most probably due to plugin compatibility. So we can see a lot of uh, the activate functions from the message. There are two ways you can solve this uh, error. One is you can try to uh, use the admin email. You should receive a link from WordPress. And the second choice, you can actually uh, access the uh, WordPress from your C panel uh, from your hosting site. So uh, we today we will be uh, solving this problem from the C panel. So uh, this website is actually hosted on HostGator. So I will be logging into HostGator C panel to start troubleshooting the issue. Okay, once we are logged into cPanel, we will try to uh, navigate to the website to disable the uh, incompatible plugin. As from the error message, uh, it shows a lot of uh, plugins deactivation. So I'm pretty sure this is a uh, plugin uh, incompatibility issue. So once we are in file manager, we need to navigate to the website. So before we can uh, disable the plugin. The website is uh, usually located inside the public underscore HTML folder. Uh, the website folder should be the same name with the domain name of the website. So uh, in this case, we will choose the website that we want to troubleshoot. Okay, uh, once we are at the website root folder, it is a good idea to check the error underscore log folder to check uh, what is happening. So from here, we can tell that the WordPress is giving a lot of error messages. And from here, we can uh, have an idea on what is going on. We can clearly see that the uh, plugin name uh, Cream WhatsApp Me is causing a lot of error on the WordPress. What we will do next is uh, we will navigate to the folder and disable this plugin. So if you are not able to identify which plugin that is causing the issue, you can actually go straight to the plugin folder and uh, disable the plugin one by one to check uh, the incompatible plugin. So next we will go back to our file manager. Okay, over the root uh, folder of the website, go to wp-content. Look for the plugins folder. From here, you can disable any plugin manually. To disable any plugin, you will just need to rename the folder into something else. Since we have identified the incompatible plugin, we will rename this folder. If you do not know which plugin is causing the issue, you can rename all the plugin folder. So we will just add a one into the folder name. Next, we will go back to our website and do a refresh on the website. Okay, it seems that we have solved the issue with the website. You can either use another alternative plugin or you can uh, contact the developer plugin to solve the incompatibility issue with the plugin. Do subscribe and give us a like if the video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.